Welcome to Serato DJ Pro 2.1. 2.1 now includes a new expansion pack called Serato Play. Serato Play allows you to DJ using your Serato DJ Pro in full capacity without the need for any DJ hardware. With Serato DJ Pro, practice mode was introduced, which allowed DJs to practice and prep mixes with a two-deck offline player, along with crossfader and volume faders. Serato Play is an evolution of practice mode, allowing users to have full access to all the features in Serato DJ Pro, plus some additional playing features. This is ideal for DJs who are not able to obtain DJ hardware, but still want to perform mixes and play. It's the hardware-less DJ experience you've been all waiting for. With Serato Play, users will be able to access all the essential features, including effects, EQs, filters, cues, loops, recording, and much more. Serato Play includes custom keyboard shortcuts, which allow you to play songs, crossfade and cut between decks, adjust channel volumes, manipulate the audio with EQs and filters, change tempos and utilize sync, create and trigger cue points and loops, and much more. Using a special 8th inch headphone splitter, users will be able to cue music in their headphones while being able to play music through monitors, just like a DJ would with a normal mixer or controller. Serato Play is only $39 for a full license. Serato Play is also a part of the Serato DJ Suite, so all existing owners and subscribers of the suite will get Play for free. Serato DJ Suite owners and subscribers who download Serato DJ Pro 2.1 can enable Serato Play in the setup under expansion packs. If you've done a trial of a previous version of Serato DJ Pro, you'll get a free 14-day trial reset to test our Serato Play. Serato Play is also a part of a new subscription bundle called Serato DJ Essentials. This includes Serato DJ Pro, Play, Effects, Flip, and Pitch and Time DJ, all for only $11.99 per month. To activate Serato Play, go to My Serato and log into your account. Then go to My Products to activate Serato Play. Once purchased, go to the setup and then to the expansion packs to turn on Serato Play. Once Serato Play is on, you will see two playing decks like you normally do when connected to hardware. By default, there will be a view of the EQs, filters, and crossfader. But you can click on the mixer panel tab at the top of the screen next to the video panel tab to collapse or expand this view. The EQs, filters, and crossfader will appear below the playing decks. To use Serato Play with the hotkeys, go to the right side of the screen, below the right playing deck, and click the Play Settings tab. In the Play Settings tab, click on Serato Play Hotkeys. To view how the hotkeys work, click on View Keys and a window will pop up with hotkey information. To activate the hotkeys from a computer keyboard, hold Alt or Option and press Plus. All functions can be used and adjusted using the computer's mouse. If you are in All in your library, you can use the up and down arrows on the keyboard to select a crate. To select a song, you can press Tab to scroll through the crate. To load a song to the left deck, press Shift plus left arrow. To load a song to the right deck, press shift plus right arrow. To play the song on the left deck, press the space bar. To play the song on the right deck, press return or enter. To move the crossfader to either side for mixing or to isolate the sound, use the left arrow or the right arrow to make the fader movements.
To lower the volume fader for the left deck, press the letter B. To raise the volume fader for the left deck, press the letter G. To lower the volume fader for the right deck, press the letter N. To raise the volume fader for the right deck, press the letter H. To lower the EQs on the left deck, you can use the letter Z for bass, X for mids, and C for highs. To raise the EQ for the left deck, you can use the letters A for bass, S for mids, and D for highs. To lower the EQs for the right deck, you can use the keys comma for bass, period for mids, and forward slash for highs. To raise the EQs on the right deck, you can use the letters K for bass, L for mids, and semicolon for highs. To immediately isolate any of the EQ bands, hold Alt or Option and the letter of the EQ band for decreasing the EQ. To return the EQs to normal position, hold Alt or Option and the letter for the EQ band for increasing the EQ. To lower the filter for the left deck, press the letter V. To return the filter to normal position for the left deck, hold Alt or Option and the letter F. To raise the filter for the left deck, press the letter F. To lower the filter for the right deck, press the letter M. To return the filter to normal position for the right deck, hold Alt or Option and the letter J. To raise the filter for the right deck, press the letter J. To do an immediate crossfade cut for the left deck, press the left bracket. To do an immediate crossfade cut for the right deck, press the backslash. To return the crossfader to the middle, press the right bracket. You can assign the crossfader to decks in the play settings. To lower the tempo for the left deck, hold Alt or Option and hold the letter Q until you get to the desired tempo. To raise the tempo for the left deck, hold Alt or Option and hold the letter W until you get to the desired tempo. To lower the tempo for the right deck, hold Alt or Option and hold the letter O until you get to the desired tempo. To raise the tempo for the right deck, hold Alt or Option and hold the letter P until you get to the desired tempo. To nudge the track back for the left deck, hold the letter Q. To nudge the track forward for the left deck, hold the letter W. To nudge the track back for the right deck, hold the letter O. To nudge the track forward for the right deck, hold the letter P. To use sync for the left deck, press the letter T. To turn off sync for the left deck, hold Alt or Option and press the letter T. To use sync for the right deck, press the letter Y. To turn off sync for the right deck, hold Alt or Option and press the letter Y. To set and trigger the first five cue points on the left deck, press the numbers 1 through 5.
To set and trigger the first five cue points on the right deck, press the numbers 6 through 0. To turn on or off a loop on the left deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 1. To decrease the value of the loop on the left deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 2. To increase the value of the loop on the left deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 3. To turn on or off a loop on the right deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 6. To decrease the value of the loop on the right deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 7. To increase the value of the loop on the right deck, hold Alt or Option and press the number 8. The Record Input Select can be set to mix for recording track to track with the crossfader or set to video mix for recording Serato video mixes. To use the sampler to trigger one shots and other samples and sounds, you will need to turn off the Serato play hotkeys. Once turned off, you can trigger the sampler with the basic hotkeys Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, and comma. Additional basic hotkey functions can be used with Serato Play hotkeys turned off. That's how you get up and running with Serato Play and Serato DJ Pro. For more information, visit serato.com.